Hey guys, welcome back. So here is part two of the actual design that we're doing. Um, this is actually part four of the series um, using SketchUp for landscape design. So if you missed the first video um, of the actual design, I'll put that above. You can click on that. And that was us actually building this house that we're going to use for the rest of this video series. So in this segment, we're going to go through actually designing the structure, um, the 2D structure of our plan. So as if we are doing a hand-drafted 2D um, design. So this is the part where you can start getting creative. Um, I usually suggest doing a hand-drafted sketch before you do this just to make it a little bit easier on you. I find it's easier to do your initial design on paper rather than on this program because it's so exact. So let's get started. We're going to make this pretty basic. Um, don't want to get too complicated, but at least show you the basics of, you know, all the tools you're going to use commonly. So let's start with our steps. So we're going to make this, this is a six foot wide step right here. So we're going to make a six foot. So we're going to draw this line just for a guide. So we're going to come out, let's say we're going to have a three foot landing, come out on the red axis, three feet. Then we'll go over on the green axis, six feet, because that's how wide our door is. Connect that. So that will be our landing. Then let's come out on the red axis one foot for one step. So right there, that's going to be our landing and our step. So a three foot by six foot landing and a six foot by one foot step. Um, so let's see. So I'm going to do this completely from scratch too, so just bear with me um, while I work through this. I may speed some of this up just to get you through it so the video is not so long. But I'll slow it down to normal speed for the parts in which I'm actually doing, you know, the drawing. So um, we're going to come out and we're going to create a plant bed, just a basic square plant bed, nothing crazy. Come off the corner of the house. So there's one plant bed. We'll erase that extra line. We'll do the same over here. Let's actually come off here four feet. Box the same. Continue our line four feet. Connect that. So there are some areas that we can designate as plant beds. So let's start, let's say this customer wants to have um, a sitting area, um, maybe we'll do a little, a quick little bar, um, so we'll do those as kind of maybe one area together, and then let's say they're um, fire fanatics, so we'll do, we'll do a fireplace so I can show you the actual element, and then we'll also do a fire pit, which we'll create from scratch. Um, so let's not worry too much about the measurements. So let's say this area is going to be our bar area, bar and sitting area. So let's say we come out 25 feet. We'll box that off. Let's say we're going to have our fireplace. Let's say, let's come out. say maybe let's go 16 feet and then we'll come out again 16 feet so that's going to be our fireplace area so what we'll do is we'll throw some pillars in here too <clears throat> so we will actually do Two foot pillars so we'll draw just the squares for the pillars and a lot of times they'll pick up on what you're trying to do and it'll automatically kind of make those dimensions for you which is really nice so you can see it's making the two feet marks for me so I don't have to keep measuring my two feet all right so there are our pillars um, let's say we are going to do 
couple of small sitting walls. So let's say a normal um, sitting wall block is 10 inches wide. So we're going to come in 7 inches so that our sitting wall is centered on our pillars. And we're going to draw 10 inches. So that will be one sitting wall and we can erase this line seeing as our garden bed will come into that area and then we'll do the same on this side. So let's go 7 inches, connect our line. 10 inches, connect our line. So there's, this will be our fireplace area. And then over here will be kind of our bar and sitting area. And then let's do, let's do a, um, let's do a half circle sitting wall. Um, and we'll, we'll put our fire pit right in the middle of that. So let's try to keep this kind of normal. So we'll go f maybe, let's go six feet in. And then we'll go six feet in on this side. Now we're going to use our two point. So we're going to grab our two points, our two point arc, I should say. And we're going to pull this out. So let's say we want the circle to have a bulge of, let's say, eight feet. Um, so there will be our sitting area and we'll do our fire pit right here in the middle. So what we're going to do is we're going to take that midpoint with our circle and we're going to draw this out with a radius. Let's say we're going to use a Teco regular Valencia fire pit. So it has an outside dimension of let's say four feet. So we're going to make this a two foot radius. Um, and then let's just bring it to I don't know how thick Valencia blocks usually are, probably 8 or 10 inches. But we'll bring this to we'll bring this to 1 feet 4 inches. So right there, there's our fire pit. We're going to erase these lines that we don't need. Get them out of here. We're going to keep most of our patio areas, you know, connected to each other. So then we're going to take our sitting wall and let's go 10 inches for a regular sitting wall 10 inches and then what I usually do is I, I find this midpoint and I take another 10, 10 inch mark and then what you can do is take your two point and pull it and just connect it right to that point and there you go there's your sitting wall so I'll erase that guideline so there is basically the structure of our patio. So let's just throw in a little built-in bar just for a little something extra. So let's do, let's bring it parallel off there, off our sitting wall. And let's make it, we'll start here, and let's say it's going to be a 10-foot bar. Maybe we'll just put... So let's make it a two level. So we're gonna have 10 inch block with overhanging cap for a counter. Then let's say, let's make it three feet deep. So we're gonna make it three feet, 10 inches deep. Three, 10. And so right there, is our bar, we're going to come off 10 inches and you'll see, this may be a little confusing now, but you'll see why I'm making these two sections later. So right there guys, is basically our 2D design, so we can add some more, you know, garden beds in if we want. Let's say, let's take the, the two point um, arc, let's connect it to these two corners, make sure you are on the right axis. So if you see just this um, black line, that means you're staying on the same axis. So we'll connect that. We'll make that a garden bed. Let's say we're going to take a straight line just because nobody likes sitting walls um, with grass right up to them. It's kind of a pain, especially with the pillars for trimming. So let's say, let's bring this out 
two feet. And we'll come out two feet. Let me erase that. And we'll come out two feet on this side as well. What is going on? Sorry, I didn't realize we're not coming out two feet on this side like we did on this side because we are an extra one feet four inches. So we're actually going to be three feet four inches. So let's say that'll be a garden bed too. I know this isn't a great design guys and we're not trying to make it anything special but I'm just trying to make it easy. So there is our 2D design. We flew through that and it pretty much is going to start taking shape after this. So we're just going to zoom in really quick. We're going to erase this line. We don't want that there. And there it is. So there is our 2D design guys. Hope you all understood that and were able to follow that. Hopefully I'm not going too fast and am explaining everything clearly, but so stay tuned for the next videos and thanks again for watching.